Hi, I'm Lee. I'm Becky. This is Miyagi. And today we're going to talk about something that's recently come up in our cases that has really surprised me. It's kind of showing my age. But when I, when I go to court, I don't expect everybody to have been smoking marijuana. And maybe I'm naive because I don't either. <laughs> yeah. She's not, she's not old. She's just uh, naive. <laughs> so the thing is, is that if you go to court for, for a custody case, you need to be prepared, right? Absolutely. We've had more than one case where, you know, the judge, you know, drugs aren't even an issue in right. the case, and the drug, and the judge says, "Okay, I'm sending everyone for a drug test today," and um, we're caught off guard because our client just kind of panics and they say, "Oh, I've smoked marijuana. I've taken pills. I've been around it." You know, it's it's something that you need to be aware of, be prepared for, and let us know so we're not caught off guard either. Yeah, it can be a little scary when you see um, somebody ducking their head. It, you can't get away from it. If the judge has ordered a drug test, or an, and, and they can also include an alcohol test. And so if you think it's a good idea to go have a couple of drinks before you come to court, don't do it because it's going to show that you have alcohol in your system. It's going to look really bad. And you may think that nobody does that. They, they do that. People they do. do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And especially for the drugs, um, even if you're on a prescription drug, I mean, what what do you have to do then? Yes, absolutely. We've had clients that say, you know, I took an anxiety pill because, you know, all this whole case makes me so nervous. And that's fine if you have a prescription. You know, bring us the bottle, bring us the written prescription from the pharmacy or your doctor. Um, just have proof of your um, prescription. You know, don't say you got it from a friend. You, we need yeah. your prescription with your name on it. In other words, don't be taking prescriptions from your family members and then come to court and saying, <laughs> I got this from my daddy. Because you're going to get, I mean, that's not going to look good. First of all, that's a felony if you're taking some sort of narcotic. So that's not acceptable. Now, people seem to be unaware of this fact. <laughs> But um, really, for sure, if you've been smoking marijuana, if you've been around marijuana, um, don't, don't do it. If you have a, I mean, let me just say, don't do drugs. But if you have a custody case, don't be using drugs, right? Um, absolutely. You've got to think about your child. I and mean, if that is your main issue, you want to get custody, you want to show the judge that you're the right person to care right. for your child, smoking marijuana is not the way to prove that. Yeah, and, and actually, Becky said when drugs weren't an issue in the case, the drugs are brought up in the cases, otherwise the judge wouldn't do it, but there may not be any claims that, that your client mm -hmm. or that, that you have been using drugs, but suddenly the judge decides to send everybody that's in the case for a drug screen. And so even if it's not brought up in the pleadings, and even if you, you don't expect it to happen, it could happen. So we just want to make sure that everybody comes to court clean, um, comes to court sober, and mm -hmm. that we don't get embarrassed. Absolutely. And let us know. You know, don't right. surprise us. Let us know. Right. 